Hi guys, this is Kenny. I'm doing the dinner preparation tonight. Diana's busy doing something else. So what I'm preparing is a very simple dish really. It's lamb shanks, slowly simmered in a sofrito and tomato sauce. So let's get started with the sofrito. So I just inserted a clove of garlic into each shank and then start off with about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So I started off on a medium high heat. So just continue sauteing them on medium high for about five minutes or until they're translucent and soft. I added in a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. And now is the time to add in the shanks and we're just going to brown them up a bit on both sides. And now I'm adding in one jar of tomato passata, which is really just strained tomatoes, and one can of whole peeled tomatoes. Now I like to rinse the uh, jar and can out with just a bit of water to get everything out of the jars and we add that into the pot. Add in a, a few pinches of uh, kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. This will be to your taste. Now shred up some fresh basil. Three or four leaves is good. Okay, now is the time you want to turn down the heat to low. Put the lid on and we're going to simmer this low and slow. We'll check on it in about an hour. Now at this point, I've got a lot of tomato sauce here. I don't need all of it. So I'm going to remove about half of it and reserve it and freeze it and use it for a menu another day. This is what the uh, menu looks like after it's been simmering for about two hours on low. They're fully cooked, they're juicy. Now the cannellini beans are optional. I like them, so I added in about half of the can I put them in a strainer and rinsed them well. I decided to use uh, rigatoni as the pasta for this dish. I cooked it according to the packet instructions so it's, it's al dente. Added them into the uh, pot and stir it around well, mix it well. Okay, here's the final, final product. Just finish it off with some freshly chopped parsley, and it's really delicious. Now, if you didn't want to go with a pasta, you could also serve this with polenta or a nice loaf of crusty bread. So I hope you guys will try this. It's quite simple to do. It's delicious, and uh, thank you for watching.